moving day and like, oh my God, <laughs> why? Okay, you guys, so moving day was supposed to be this Friday, but now I'm actually moving on Thursday because of a L'Oreal partnership I'm doing and I have to get there for the brunch. So literally this week is insane. Today I have a shoot with Neutrogena and Cosmo, tomorrow one with Beholden, the next day with Dove, and then I fly either still TBD if it's that night or the next day at 5 a.m. I'm using Roadway Moving to move everything across the country. They're coming and packing everything up. The dude's over here now and measuring everything to get it all into boxes. I'm so excited for this move, but also like really stressed out because there's a million moving parts, but thank God the moving thing is figured out. God bless. Do you, he's so cute though, I like his outfit. Do he's Frank is a fan of yours. Stop. So she wanted to come meet you. Really? We're eating your specialty. Tortilla chips, cheddar cheese, sriracha. Gourmet. Luckily, Roadway is doing the actual packing of everything, but I'm trying to pack and simultaneously purge, so I'm not just taking all of the things with me. These are the brushes she's allowed to take. I let her put her hands in this box for only a minute, <laughs> and then I literally stole it away as she was grabbing some more brushes. This is the tentative pile of clothes. This is the drive-thru in which I provided the nachos. What up though? On that note, I think we out. We got more packing to do. This week is nothing short of insane. Was potentially gonna leave on Thursday, but I just like can't do it. It is now four in the morning and just have another full day tomorrow and the flight's on Friday, so. We got this. I'm so grateful Juhi exists. I just left the YouTube space New York and I had a moment because it just hit me that like I did a lot of my videos there and I'm officially done. Heading home now, movers come in the morning. Roadway will be there, so I'm packing my personal stuff. This week has been cray, but also so exciting, you guys. I'm moving to LA tomorrow. I kind of feel like I had the most perfect last night in New York. Like, I went out with a girlfriend that like I kind of started my career in New York with, and then I was in the West Village, which is like my favorite part of New York. It was just like, felt like a perfect moment. I just feel like this is exactly how I envisioned my last night. Oh look, sirens and lights. Shocking. What is the incredible food that I'm craving to get before I leave New York? Shake Shack, meatball shop, chicken and rice. I really just wanted Subway. That's literally all I wanted. I honestly think it's because I don't think I'm leaving New York. I think I'm just like saying, see you later. I was like, Casey, I got all of this shaded foundation for your makeup kit, come over. And he told me he has spaghetti. So now we're here. I just showed you guys I had spaghetti, but whatever. This is the real real. We had spaghetti. <laughs> And I had a craving for Mission Chinese. So we have this, and then I have... Nithika! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, hush. We're all celebrating. This is all I want to be doing right now. It's wonderful. I cannot believe moving day is finally here. I am luckily not very stressed out because these guys are doing all the work. Thank goodness. Mama Pundu, you hear that? I'm okay. She wanted to fly here to help me. I told her I'm okay. I'm a big girl. I always need my mom. I'm lying. Stuff the plane at LAX with my dream and my Yeezys. My Alexander McQueen bag was considered a weapon because of the brass knuckles. United almost didn't let me on the flight. I had to go check in my carry-on, but I made it and I'm here. Hello, La La Land, I have arrived. You guys, I have no idea where I'm gonna live at all. God bless Kavitha, who's here with me. <laughs> so stressed out. Roadway is coming on September 1st and I have to give him an address. I don't know. Everyone says West Hollywood, but you know what? Everyone doesn't know the real me. The real deeps want some zen. I need some zen in my life. I want to be close to the water. So now we're at Brentwood looking at places. So I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, you guys, I know I said no to West Hollywood, but that building I went to yesterday, they told me about the place that I'm at right now, and it looked incredible. It had a gym, it had like a pool, it had all of the things. So wish me luck, fingers crossed. Y'all, I'm staying with a girlfriend. Came to take out the trash. Didn't realize it walked behind me. Like it's not that high, I could jump. But this is a silk rope. There's nothing on under this. Look at my new car! <laughs> Look at this interior!
Yes, car, yes, car. I'm so happy, dream come true, yay! I have a car for the first time in five years. Five years, this is a very big moment in my life. And I'm pretending like it's super easy to turn on and it's no big deal, but it took me a solid 20 minutes to figure it out, like how to use this thing, but I'm so excited, it is my dream car. Watch out for that human person over there. Look at all this traffic, you guys. I am not gonna go right now, hell no. Safety first, I know my limits. <laughs> Keep honking, I'm not moving. Today, I, Deepka Mathiala, am going grocery shopping. Dun, dun, dun. Five years, I've been about that Postmates life, that seamless life, that Amazon Prime life. Well, I'm still kind of, well, not kind of, I am about that life. And now we arrive at Trader Joe's. Kylie, are you so excited? I'm so excited. You do this every week. I do this every week. <laughs> What does one get at Trader Joe's that the rest of the world doesn't have? Packaged salads. Because it's cheaper? It's just already done for you. Okay, let's, let's get this going. Are you a mover and a shaker? Everyone is so friendly. I'm so confused. Is there really $3 wine here? Uh -huh. Is that they, really a I thing? I think it's like two fifty now. What? <laughs> Is there free food for us? Oh. Oh my God, these are crack. We succeeded, spent 40 bucks. Maybe half of that was on wine. <laughs> I am going to be an adult here. This is, this is what you call adulting, I'm adulting. After way too long of not finding a place and an experience with these two, Yay! I have decided, I am so excited that we're all moving in together and now Yay! we are apartment hunting. And it's actually hilarious because she just freaked out that we may move into a place that has a Taco Bell. <laughs> Do you know why I'm so excited? Because we were looking at apartments and now we're looking at homes. Like, can you imagine having like a backyard? I'm not mowing lawn though. I'll mow it. Yes, I Great. Can. <laughs> but I made a sandwich today so I know how to cook. There you go. There you go. We'll take turns. Sure. Pray for us. Wish us luck. May God be with us that we find something in the next two days. So yesterday we fell in love with the place that we saw. It was yep. amazing. But she did a lot of research last night, so we have like an entire day of apartment hunting. But what I do know is I woke up and there was biscuits and coffee, so I'm very excited Yay. about this roommate situation. My favorite part is like how hilarious she is, and then the second this turns on, homegirl like turns into a little pumpkin. <laughs> Look at you smiling. The second the camera's off, she's all like, what is this? I hate this packaging. Oh my God, you guys, this is it. I can't even tell you. We just like came here in West Hollywood and I'm dying. I think this is it. We found it. Oh my God, oh my God, the area's perfect. Another update, I haven't showered today is the first update. We have all finally found an apartment. Yay! And it is in West Hollywood. This place is not real life. It's kind of a dream come true and we're on our way there now to go sign for it. So it's a fish. Annoying reality is we can't move into October 23rd, which means all my stuff is still in New York City with Roadway. Thank God they're still storing it for me for another month. So I'm still living on two suitcases and my roommate's socks. It will be well worth it. Well worth it. This place is insane, guys. Monday is the day that we finally move in to our new place and I'm currently at my friend Ami's place. Say hi. Hi! I just feel like my life is in such a limbo. Like my beauty product packages are going to New York, they're going to my parents' house in Texas. I feel like my videos and stuff, I'm not doing as good of a job. Like it just feels like my chaos is like everywhere. I'm just ready to get it together, so. T minus one exact week. It's been a crazy few days. My roommate, dad has had brain cancer. Kylie got a call that he was most likely going to have his last few breaths on Sunday and we were moving in here on Monday. I was like in the bed with her. It's like a thing I'll never forget you guys. Like obviously we like took her to the airport and she went home and we found out that right when she got there that that night he had passed. I just never will understand why cancer exists and why it happens to the kindest people. Sometimes I just feel like it's the strongest people that go through it because they're the ones who can handle it because Kylie was just so strong. I don't know, it's just weird because it really puts things into like perspective about life and like I like immediately called my dad and I was like, dad, go get checked, I love you. It's, it's unfortunate that it takes things like that happening to make it hit you, but it really hit me when that happened to her and I am determined to have that girl come home to a real home. So Lindsay and I, my other roommate, are going to put her whole room together. Obviously, duh, like all Kylie wants is to like live a beautiful LA life. So we're gonna like throw her like a dinner party and stuff. So when Roadway comes here, they're handling all the moving. They're unpacking everything for me, like thank God. And so, I don't know, it just makes everything feel a little more like easy. 
you know, life happens, but I think the biggest thing I've learned watching Kylie is it really makes you realize who in your life matters to you and who's there for you, and I'm gonna be there for her. The move into Cali has officially hit home. It was worth the wait, you know? Like I have this home that I'm obsessed with and I'm gonna turn it into a real home. Like we have string lights, we have a backyard and I will do a full tour of my new office, my new room. So now I'm gonna go make this into a home, a real person home. I'm so excited. It's been such a crazy long journey, but it is done and done and I feel so relieved. Here's to a new chapter in life in LA. <laughs>